hello everyone welcome to artful garden ideas today we share some beautiful ideas how to grow calcia repens pink lady and how to care for calcia repens pink panther plant calcia repens pink lady and pink panther are both cultivatory of the calcia repens plant also known as the inch plant or root vine to grow and care for these plants plant in well draining soil in a bright and dry light location they can tolerate some shade but will grow best with bright and direct light keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged allow the top inch of soil to dry out before wetting again fertilize monthly with a balanced liquid fertilize during the growing season the plant can be propagated by taking stem cuttings and rooting them in water or soil pinch back the tips of the plant to encourage bushier growth these plants are not forest hardy so bring them indoors or protect them from forest if you live in an area with cold winter prune as needed to keep the plant shapely and control its size keep an eye out from common house plants pets such as spider mates and male bugs beautiful pink and white screen variation with adorable foliage calcia repens pink lady calcia repens which is commonly called calcia pink lady calcia pink panther throat vine plant is an easy care and adorable indoor plants it has attractive pink and light green striped patterns leaf that grow on compact and trailing light recommended to place this beautiful calcia pink lady it bright to medium light conditions we generally give water to our calcia pink panther once a week to 10 days whenever the top inch of the soil slightly dry this calcia pink love moist soil but not sweat so recommend not to give over watering fertilizer most of the indoor plants propose slow release fertilizer or liquid fertilizer would be suitable for this plant during the warmer season we mostly give every month but if the weather is cooling down we reduce to once in 2 3 months to keep the calcia pink lady plant healthy the things to consider is not much as it's easy care plant and hardy but if you want to clean the dust on the foliage instead of using a cloth recommend using smooth brush growing foliage and steam could have been caused by three reasons one to less water to much water three sunburn when the plant doesn't get enough water hasn't been watered too long from the edge of the foliage it starts to shrink and turn brown on the other hand when we give too often water or when the plant is set in the water it can cause root rooting and turn to mushy and eventually brown after dried out mushy and deep brown to a black color stain this mostly happens when we give too often or too much water on calcium calcia repens plant when we give too much it starts from the root and stem and slowly turn into deep brown to a black color and become mushy losing colors to keep the calcia pink color sunlight is very essential if the plant stays at the shade spot it will become faded and losing pink color there are too many ways to propagate this plant from stem cutting dividing the root ball for the stem cutting propagation totally all we need to do is cut between nodes and place on moss or plant in soil i have tried to propagate in this way before but unfortunately it didn't work for me However I am planning to propagate this plant again soon so when I succeed to propagating this plant I'll be update this calcia repens are growing low and compact as its beautiful color and requires low maintenance it will be suitable for an office table cum desk or even the book shelves on the other hand with the trailing character we can decorate our home with a hanging basket to enjoy feeling trails yes that's pretty much everything for today post uh, today video hope you had a better understanding about calcia repens pink panther thanks for watching this video